Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna talk about positive discipline. I'm Rita and today it's all about you. Positive discipline is a method where parents communicate clearly which are the uh, behaviors that they want their uh, children to have. They communicate uh, directly to the, to the kid and they uh, explain which are um, a, an appropriate behavior, which are inappropriate behavior and which are the consequences of a bad behavior or a good behavior. This method doesn't use any kind of punishment or aggressiveness toward the children, but uh, um, encourage problem solving uh, in any time. This positive discipline have five principles. It is kind and firm, helps feelings of belonging and significance. It is effective in a long term, teach social and life skills for a good character, encourage children to search for their own abilities and use them in a constructive way. It gives the opportunity to the child to choose, but parents keep a tone firm but not aggressive. It means that the parent can encourage a behavior that he wants the kid to have and discourage the, the ones that he doesn't want the kid to have or it's not uh, appropriate for the child to have. But during this process, the parent has to um, maintain calm and a positive and respectful attitude. This kind of method doesn't mean that uh, allows a child to do whatever they want. They can eventually have always the choice and parents will uh, give uh, um, that kind of choice to the child, but always in the terms of uh, a good behavior. For instance, saying to the kid that uh, um, we know that they want to play, but it's time to bed and they can even choose which kind of a book they want to read in bed, what kind of story. Explain the kid that uh, we as parents understand perfectly what they are feeling, understand that they can be frustrated, that they can be mad, that they can be sad, but uh, it's not allowed to kick, to bite, throw toys away and do this kind of behavior. It also encourages children to express their feelings and uh, um, encourage them to talk instead of uh, act because usually a kid do this kind of acts and they do tantrums and they express their frustrations because they don't know how to express any other way and this is where this method enters it is uh, um, a way of uh, uh, teaching the, our children uh, to express with the words or with another thing that it's not uh, a physical thing. Of course this method is a little bit difficult in the beginning, it takes time to um, have some kind of uh, results but uh, it is very effective in a long-term way. Of course kids are not all the same and parents are not all the same either. Every kid has different environments, different communities and is surrounded by a different kind of society. For each misbehavior there are different kinds of discipline methods to use. The most commonly discipline is the preventive one, the one that supports but at the same time corrects the child behavior. Of course, parents can use different methods uh, with different children in different situations. It doesn't mean that you have to um, just follow one method or one kind of uh, parenting style or parenting philosophy. You can always choose um, certain things for, from each um, uh, theories that you eventually can uh, know and apply them uh, in different situations for different kind of kids and for different kinds of uh, uh, issues that uh, um, can appear in the daily life. And the most important in this case is to uh, be aware of uh, um, staying 
consistent in what you are transmitting to your child. This positive discipline method um, make the child feel much more connected with the family, with the, the school and even with their own inner self. The child will know the value of their own skills and will want to improve them. The biggest advantage of this method is that the child will choose naturally not to be in danger, teach the importance of self-control and how to make appropriate choices, develops the uh, relationships between the kids and the parents or the caregivers, building their confidence and their self-esteem, which is very neat for a future functional adult. This can be a very effective method to develop an educational strategy to your own kids. Sometimes for parents it is difficult to keep the same posture all the time or try to uh, maintain calm or uh, show that uh, they are calm and relaxed. But this is necessary for the future of our children. In the end we have to understand that education is uh, a combination of certain theories and we don't have to stick in just one. It's uh, normal that we just uh, um, do some kind of research when we are in doubt and it's normal that we pick the one that it's much more adaptable to ourselves, to our personality and to the situations that we are dealing with. It is important to understand that we all are humans um, having emotions and that we are uh, giving our best to deal with uh, other small humans that are having lots of emotions that they don't know how to cope with or how to deal with. And this is the main thing of uh, uh, the, any kind of educational method or system, to help uh, children to um, achieve this uh, coping mechanism and uh, this control over their own emotions and their own feelings. So if you think that you did something that uh, it was not your uh, own expectations, forgive yourself. Be aware that we all have our weaknesses and for sure that you will try um, to, to do or to have a different kind of behavior next time. Use your common sense, try to be more relaxed, Try to understand your child's behavior and follow the right path your heart will tell you and your common sense will tell you. If you have any other doubt or if you have some kind of issue or some kind of situation with your child that you think that you cannot deal with, uh, find a professional help. There's only, only always uh, um, um, professionals that can help you, that can um, give you some tips and you can even uh, try to talk to um, your pediatrician or the pediatrician of your uh, children and try to get some tips uh, for, for the school teacher and for um, any other kind of professional that work with children. If you need some kind of tips that way I will leave my contacts below and you can always contact me with any kind of doubt, with any kind of question and we can have uh, uh, some kind of uh, um, conversation and I can give you some tips about any other doubt or any other situation or issue that you and your family are going through. And so that's all for today guys. I hope you like it. I hope you subscribe to the channel, leave a thumbs up, share with a friend, comment if you want. and. I'll see you next time for another video. Bye!